Let's get started building a virtual stage for live event streaming or just practice for virtual production in Unreal Engine. Now, this video assumes that you've already installed Unreal Engine and have the Virtual Studio project uh, created and we're just going to pick up from there. If you don't have this already, you can look up the uh, previous video in the description for how to get that set up. So I'm gonna launch Unreal 4.25 and create my new project. That'll be where we create this stage. So this dialog box appears and what we wanna do is create a film television and live events project. So I'll select that and click next. We're going to go ahead with blank and go ahead and click next and then set up a location. We're going to not use starter content. We won't need that. And I do not have an RTX board installed on this computer, so I'm going to leave ray tracing disabled. So I have a path for my projects and I'll just call this live stage and create that project. So we'll let Unreal build up that project and then open up the editor. So here we see our completely new project and let's look at here. There it says new plugins are available. We'll just go ahead and dismiss this. We shouldn't need any new plugins and it's not unusual for the project file is out of date message to come up. We'll just go ahead and update that. And now all of that has been updated. So if we look down here in the content, there's nothing to work with here other than the main level that we're already looking at. So we want to bring the content from the Virtual Studio Kit into this project. So to do that, I'm just going to relaunch the Epic Launcher. So tap the Windows key, type in Epic, and run the Games Launcher. And from here, I'm going to go to my library and select that Virtual Studio. Just double clicking and opening that up. Okay, so here's the Virtual Studio set right here. And the main thing that we're interested in is this folder called Virtual Studio Kit. And we just wanna copy that over to our other project. And in Unreal Parlance, that is Migrate. So I'm just gonna right click on that folder, look for Migrate, choose that. We're gonna take everything from Virtual Studio Kit. We'll just leave everything checked as it is and say okay. And then it'll ask us where we want to put this. In this case, I am going to go into that live stage and then content and just deposit it there. I'll select that folder. And now Unreal will move all the content and make a copy over in that other project. All right, content migration is completed successfully. So at this point, I can go ahead and close the Virtual Studio project and here is the live stage empty project and sure enough i have the virtual studio kit folder and now we're ready to move on and start building up our stage so we'll get to that in the next video until then have fun